All right, this is the R2600. A couple of things to understand about the R2600 uh, in setup is the zones, the cursor zones. Uh, we have a display cursor zone, uh, which you can see that we're currently in the um, uh, cursors in. We also have an RF cursor zone. Uh, that would be this portion of the screen. And we have the audio cursor zone. Uh, within the cursor zones, uh, we establish or we set our cursor position to, uh, to change. Um, like in this current position, we would change our fixed uh, deviation. Uh, we could go to the um, RF cursor zone and select either monitor, which is the condition we're in now, or we can select generate. Uh, in, in monitor, the uh, 2600 is essentially your receiver. Uh, this is where you would use to check the transmitter. Uh, we would check our frequency. Uh, that would be shown up in the display zone. Uh, the current frequency uh, that we have uh, that we have dialed up on the unit, uh, which is our monitor frequency, uh, we would see our input level. Our input level, uh, we can toggle that between either watts or uh, dBm as our unit of measure. Uh, just above that, we would be checking our deviation of that transmitter. Uh, changing again back to the RF zone we can select generate. Uh, again, using our cursor position, uh, we can come down and we can set our frequency uh, you know, to the desired value. Um, make a mistake, you can back up with your cursor. Uh, correct that. Uh, again, using the uh, cursor position, we can drop down and adjust our output level. Uh, again, being in generate, now we're acting as the transmitter. The unit itself is acting as the transmitter. Uh, we can set our output uh, level uh, to from a low of uh, minus 130, and depending on our generator output port, which I'll cover shortly, uh, would determine this range, this output range. Uh, we would jump down to or move to the audio zone and within the audio zone we can set our fixed thousand cycle deviation of the signal. This sets the level of deviation. Typically for a 2.5 uh, maximum deviation narrowband channel uh, we would set 60% and 60% would be the 1.5 kilohertz. Okay, so let's cover or the uh, the uh, I/O ports. Uh, if you look at the uh, lower left, we have our RF I/O port. Uh, that port is um, uh, is not fuse protected. It takes 125 watt input max. Uh, that is our current uh, method. If you look at uh, currently, we're in generate again. That would be equivalent to transmit. Uh, we're set for our RF I/O port. If I go back to um, to that to the uh, Gen RF uh, output field, I can toggle that or change that to a Gen port. That would be the port next to the RFIO. Uh, the Gen port is capable of a much higher output. Uh, we could go there to a zero dBm output. Again, neither this port is not fused. The gen port is only valid in, in generate mode. Uh, the RFIO is used both in generate and in monitor as well. Uh, last, we have our <coughs> antenna port. Our antenna port has a maximum uh, input of 0 dBm uh, or 600 uh, uh, milliwatts. Uh, this would be in monitor. Uh, again, returning to the uh, RF zone, we go to monitor, and we can come down with our cursor and select RF or select uh, antenna. And of course, our antenna goes active with an antenna on. Uh, we can use that to pick up signal over the air. Uh, kind of in a quick brush by, this is the general operation of the R2600. 
uh, from here we could go into more detail on how to set it up for specific tests covering both transmitter tests uh, and receiver sign-ed tests.